Kida, Malay pronunciation, K. Jawi, Qud also known by its honorific Darul Aman or Abode of Peace, is a state of Malaysia, located in the northwestern part of peninsular Malaysia. The state covers a total area of over 9,000 square kilometres, and it consists of the mainland and Langkawi. The mainland has a relatively flat terrain, which is used to grow rice. Langkawi is an archipelago of islands, most of which are uninhabited. Kedah was called Kataram Tamil, Kataram Kataram by ancient and medieval Tamil people, Kataha, Kalabar Arab, Kuth Klur and Sibori Thai, Thurbori RTGS, Sai Buri by the Siamese when it was under their influence. To the north, Kita borders the state of Perlis and shares an international boundary with the Songkhla and Yala provinces of Thailand. It borders the states of Perak to the south and Penang to the southwest. The state's capital is Alor Sitar and the royal seat is in Anak Bukit. Other major towns include Sungai Patani, and Kulam on the mainland, and Kua on Langkawi. Topic history topic topic Early history topic Archaeological evidence found in Buyang Valley Malay, Lemba Buyang, reveals that a Hindu-Buddhist kingdom ruled ancient Kedah possibly as early as 110 AD. The discovery of temples, jetty remains, iron smelting sites, and clay brick monuments dating back to 110 AD shows that a maritime trading route with South Indian Tamil kingdoms was already established since that time. The discoveries in Buyang Valley also made the ancient Kedah as the oldest civilization of Southeast Asia. Reference to ancient Kedah was first mentioned in a Tamil poem Patanapalai written at the end of the 2nd century AD. It described goods from Kataram heaped together in the broad streets of Chola capital. Other than Kataram, Kita was known with different names at varying times in Indian literature, Kataha Nagara in Kamudi Mahatsava drama, and a Kataha in Agni Purana, Kataha Dvipa in Samaraikakaha, and Kataha in Kathasaritsagara. In the Middle Eastern literature, ancient Kita was referred as Kila by Ibn Khordadba in Kitab al Masalik wal Mamalik, Kala Bar by Suleiman Saraf and Abu Zayd al Hassan in Silsilat al Tawarik, Travels in Asia, and Kala by Abu Dalaf Masar ibn Mahalhal in al Risala al Thaniya. The famous Tang dynasty Buddhist monk, Yi Jing, who visited Malay archipelago between 688 to 695, also mentioned about a kingdom known as Ka Cha in the northern part of Malay Peninsular, which according to him was 30 days' sail from Bagha, Palambang, the capital of Sriboa. Srivijaya. In the 7th and 8th centuries, Kita was under the loose control of Srivijaya. Indian and Arab sources consider Kedah to be one of the two important sites during the Srivijaya period, often calling the King of the Straits the ruler of Srivijaya and Kataha. In 1025, Rajendra Chola, the Chola king from Karamandal in South India, captured Kedah in his invasion of Srivijaya and occupied it for some time. A second invasion was led by Virarajendra Chola of the Chola dynasty who conquered Kedah in the late 11th century. During the reign of Kulathunga Chola the first Chola overlordship was established over the Sri Vijaya province Kedah in the late 11th century. Topic Kedah Sultanate Topic According to Hikayat Merong Mahawingsa or the Kedah Annals, Kedah was founded by a Hindu king named Merong Mahawingsa. According to the text further, the Sultanate of Kedah started in year 1136 when King Phra Ong Mahawingsa converted to Islam and adopted the name Sultan Mudzafar Shah. However, an Assanese account gave a date of 1474 for the year of conversion to Islam by the ruler of Kedah. This later date accords with an account in the Malay Annals where a Raja of Kedah visited Malacca during the reign of its last sultan seeking the honour of the royal band that marks the sovereignty of a Muslim ruler. It was later under Siam, until it was conquered by the Malay Sultanate of Malacca in the 15th century. In the 17th century, Kita was attacked by the Portuguese after their conquest of Malacca, and by Aceh. In the hope that Great Britain would protect what remained of Kita from Siam, the Sultan handed over Penang and then Province Wellesley to the British at the end of the 18th century. The Siamese nevertheless invaded Kita in 1821, and it remained under Siamese control under the name of Sibori. In 1896, Kita along with Perlis and Settle was combined into the Siamese province of Monthan Sibori which lasted until transferred to the British by the Anglo-Siamese Treaty of 1909. <laughs> Incorporation into Malaya In World War II, Kita along with Kelantan was the first part of Malaya to be invaded by Japan. The Japanese returned Kita to their Thai allies who had it renamed Sibori, but it returned to British rule after the end of the war. 
Kedah was a reluctant addition to the Federation of Malaya in 1948. Since 1958, the hereditary Sultan of Kedah has been Tuanku Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah. The Kedah Sultanate began when the 9th Kedah Maharaja Durbar Raja or Phra Ang Mahawingsa, converted to Islam and changed his name to Sultan Mudzafar Shah I. Since then there have been 27 sultans who ruled Kedah. Geography <laughs> 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 Kedah is the eighth largest state by land area and eighth most populated state in Malaysia, with a total land area of 9,500 square kilometers (3,700 square miles) and a population of 1,890,098. The Pedu Lake is the largest man-made lake in the state. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. Topic. Kedah has a relatively heterogeneous populace constituted by three major ethnic groups, the Malays, Chinese and Indians as well as some Malaysian Siamese ethnic groups, similar to most of the other Malaysian states. Prior to the formation of the Federation of Malaya, there was an ethnic group known as the Sam Sam people. They are culturally Malay Muslim but speak Siamese language. Most of these communities are almost extinct due to assimilation with the Malays. In some places in Kedah, the Sam Sam people still retain their Siamese language as their mother tongue. These communities can be found in Pengdang District, Kuala Narang District and Kubang Pasu District Changlin, Kodiang, Jitra, Wang Tepis, Guar Napai, Malau, Asin and Napo. Kedah has a very small Orang Asli community. Orang Asli only can be found in the Bailing District. Topic. Language. Topic. Like most parts of Malaysia, Kedah is home to various languages and dialects. The majority language of Kedah is Kedah Malay, known natively by locals as Pelat Utaga northern dialect. It is a distinct variety of Malay which also serves as the state's main lingua franca and is used by almost all Kadahans regardless of race. Kedah Malay has many sub-dialects which differs from district to district and is also spoken outside of its boundaries such as Penang, Perlis, Northern Perak and even as far as Satin in Thailand and Tanandari in Myanmar. Besides Kedah Malay, another distinct variety of Malay known as Bailing Malay is mainly spoken in Bailing district as well as some parts of Sik and Yan districts. Bailing, along with Greek Malay is part of Reman Malay, an offshoot of Kelantan Patani Malay of which it was descended from the people of the Kingdom of Reman of which once ruled the Bailing and Greek regions before it was dissolved and became part of three distinct political entities namely Kedah, Perak and Yala Thailand. Besides Malay, there are also various minority languages spoken throughout Kedah. Aslian languages such as Jahai, Kenshu, and Kintak are spoken by the small Orang Asli populations mostly in the inland region. The Chinese in Kedah also speaks various varieties of Chinese such as Mandarin, Hokkien, majority, Teochew, Cantonese, and so on. There are also a small but well established Indian community, mostly of ethnic Tamil and Punjabis, and also a smaller number of Telugus who speak their own respective languages. Kedah is also home to a large community of ethnic Siamese, of which it has its own distinct dialect of the Thai language, which is different from one spoken in Kelantan, which also has a large Siamese population, and Standard Thai. Ethnicity <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. The population of Kedah in 2015 was 2,071,900. It was made up of 76% Bumiputra Malays and others, 12.7% Chinese, 6.9% Indian, 0.9% others and 3.4% non-Malaysian. The following is based on 2015 figures from the Department of Statistics Malaysia. Topic. Religion. As of 2010 the population of Kedah is 77.2% Muslim, 14.2% Buddhist, 6.7% Hindu, 0.8% Christian, 0.6% Unknown, None, 0.3% Taoist or Chinese religion followers, 0.1% followers of other religions, and 0.1% non-religious. Statistics from the 2010 census indicate that 94.3% of the Chinese population are identified as Buddhists, with 
significant minorities of adherents identifying as Christians 2.4%, Chinese folk religions 2.4%, and Muslims 0.4%. The majority of the Indian population are Hindus 91.7%, with a significant minorities of numbers identifying as Christians 3.7%, Muslims 2.4%, and Buddhists 1.3%. The non-Malay Bumiputera community are predominantly Christians 39.7%, with significant minorities identifying as Muslims 26.9% and Buddhists 26.3%. All Malays are Muslims. Topic: Governance. Topic: Kedah's constitution was promulgated by its ruler in July 1950. The various provisions laid down in the constitution include the role and powers of the monarch, the state parliament and the state's civil service. The Sultan of Kedah is the constitutional ruler of the state. His position is hereditary and he holds office for life. The ruler is the head of the religion of Islam in the state and the executive power of the state government is vested in him. The current sultan is Tunku Mahmud Salahuddin, who has reigned on September 12, 2017 after his elder brother Abdul Halim of Kedah died on September 11, 2017. The State Executive Council, which along with the sultan is Kedah's executive branch of government. It is composed of the Mentari Basar, who is its chairman and Kedah's head of government, and ten other members. The Mentari Basar and other members of the council are appointed by the Sultan of Kedah from members of the Dewan Undangan Negri State Assembly. Topic: <laughs> Kedah State Assembly. Topic: See also breakdown of state seats representatives elected 2018. The state also has a legislative branch called the State Assembly. It is similar to the parliament but is limited to making laws relating to the state. Its members are elected in elections which are usually held simultaneously with federal elections. The term of each state assembly member is limited to five years. The state assembly must be dissolved before or once it expires its term for a fresh election to elect its members. Topic. Administrative divisions Topic. Modern Kedah is divided into 12 administrative districts. These 12 districts, are further divided into administrative municipal councils Majlis Bandaraya, Perbandaran and Daira. Bailing Majlis Daira Bailing MDB, Bundar Baharu contains Sir Dang Majlis Daira Bundar Baharu MDBB, Kota Sitar, contains Alor Sitar Majlis Bandaraya Alor Sitar MBAS, Kuala Muda contains Sungai Petani Majlis Perbandaran Sungai Patani MPSPK, Kubing Pasa Majlis Daira Kubing Pasu MDKP, Kula Majlis Perbandaran Kulam MPK. Pihak Berkwasa Tempatan Perindustrian High Tech Kulim High Tech Kulim Pulau Langkawi contains Kua Majlis Perbandaran Langkawi Bandaraya Palangkongan MPLBP Padang Terap Majlis Daira Padang Terap MDPT Pengdang Majlis Daira Pengdang MDP Pokok Sena Majlis Bandaraya Alor Sitar MBAS Sikh Majlis Daira Sikh MDS Yan Majlis Daira Yan MDY Topic Economy Topic. Kita is considered the rice bowl Malay, Jelapang Paddy of Malaysia, accounting for about half of Malaysia's total production of rice. In 2008, the state government banned the conversion of paddy fields to housing and industrial lots to protect the rice industry. Tourism, particularly on the island of Langkawi, is of growing importance. More recently, Kedah has forged its economy towards the automotive and aerospace industries with Modena's and Asian composites setting up bases here. One of the main advantages is the low labor costs and the infrastructure in place with the North-South Expressway and the Penang International Airport close by. In 1996, the Kulim High Tech Park was officially opened as the first high-technology industrial park in Malaysia. The park comprises a total land area of approximately 14.5 square kilometers, 5.6 square miles. According to the 9th Malaysia Plan, this economic area is part of the Northern Corridor Economic Region, NCER. 
The Northern Corridor Economic Region is one of three development regions formed in Peninsular Malaysia, other development regions being the Iskandar Malaysia or South Johor Economic Region and the East Coast Development Region. Education Public universities and colleges The state has a campus of University Utara Malaysia UUM, which is located in Bundar Baru Sintok. It was formally incorporated on 16 February 1984. The university was established with the specific mission of providing a leadership role for management education in the country. The academic establishments in UUM include College of Business COB, College of Law, Government and International Studies COLGIS, and College of Arts and Sciences CAS. Kedah also has several public universities and colleges such as University Technologi Mara UITM in Merbak, the Malaysian Spanish Institute of University Kuala Lumpur Unical MSI and the Polytechnic Institute of Sultana Bahia PSB in Kulim, the Asian Institute of Medicine, Science and Technology AIMST University in Bedong, College University Insania KUIN in Mergong and the Polytechnic Institute of Sultan Abdul Halim Muadzam Shah POL IMAS in Jitra. There are two teacher training institution in Kedah, Institute Pendidikan Guru Campus Sultan Abdul Halim in Sungai Patani and Institute Pendidikan Guru Campus Darul Aman in Bundar Darulaman that are set up by the government to provide teaching courses for trainee teachers. <laughs> Private universities and colleges Topic. Private universities and colleges that are located in Kedah include the Open University of Malaysia OUM Regional Learning Centre for the State of Kedah and Perlis at Sungai Patani, the Albakari International University in Alor Sitar, Pusat Bahasa Tishan Jaya the PTPL College and the Cosmopoint College. Topic. Technical institutes Topic. Kita houses three technical institutes that are affiliated with Mara, that is Institute Kemahiran Mara Sungai Patani, Institute Kemahiran Mara Alor Sitar and Institute Kemahiran Mara Sikh. Boarding schools This state also has several boarding schools such as Sekola Barazrama Pena and Mara Junior Science College or MRSM. Topic. Boarding school Topic. Maktab Renda Sains Mara Kubing Pasu Maktab Renda Sains Mara Longkawi Maktab Renda Sains Mara Merbak Maktab Renda Sains Mara Pdrm Kulim Maktab Renda Sains Mara Pengdang Maktab Renda Sains Mara Bailing Sekola Menenga Sains Sultan Muhammad Jiwa Sains Kita. Sekola Menenga Sains Pokok Sena SAINA. Sekola Menenga Sultan Abdul Halim SMSAH. Sekola Barazrama Pena Integrasi Kubing Pasu IKUPA. Sekola Menenga Sains Kubing Pasu KUPSIS. Topic. Private and public schools. Topic Consists of several private and public primary school or secondary school. Public secondary school such as SMK Taman Jelutong, Keat Wa Secondary School, Convent Secondary School formerly known as St. Nicholas Convent Secondary School, Koleg Sultan Abdul Hamid, Sekola Menenga Kabangsan Sultan Badlisha, Sin Min Secondary School, Chio Min Secondary School, SMK Sultana ASMA, SMK Convent Father Bar, SMK Kir Johari, SMK Aman Jaya, SMK Bedong, SMK Bikar Arang, SMK Dara Layman, SMK Ibrahim, KJIT, SMK Masori, SMK Tunku Panglima Besar, Keat Wa Secondary School, SMK Gwar Kempetic, SMK Yan etc. Private secondary schools such as Keat Wa High School, Sin Min High School and SM Sin Min. 
Topic: Tourism. Topic: Tourism is mainly concentrated on Longkawi Island, the largest island in the archipelago. There are some places of interest on the mainland as well. Topic: Kita Mainland. Topic: Alor Sitar Tower, one of the tallest telecommunications tower in the world, standing tall at 165. 5 meter in height. Balai Nobat. Bukit Kayu Hidam. Balai Seni Negri. Batu Hampar Waterfall. Buyang Valley Archaeological Museum, the only museum in Malaysia to display archaeological artifacts proving the existence of international trade and development of the Hindu Buddha religion in Southeast Asia in the 3rd 12th century. Junjong Waterfall, Kota Kuala Kita, Lata Mengkuang Waterfall, Lemba Buyang Archaeological Park, Pantai Merdeka, Pantai Murni Waterfront Pekan Rabu Wednesday Market, a multi-story arcade selling a wide range of traditional delicacies, handicraft products and apparel. Ruma Merdeka. Seri Periji Waterfall. Sungai Merbak Recreation Park. Sungai Sedam Tree Top Walk, the longest canopy walk in the world stretching 950 meters long. Visitors can enjoy the fabulous sight of rushing streams and truly fascinating flora and fauna all from 50 meters up. Ulu Muda Eco Park Ulu Pape Recreational Forest Hutan Paya Laut Ulu Legong Hot Springs, the only 24 hours hot spring, located 22 km from Bailing Titi Haiyan Waterfall Kulim Gunung Jirai Zahir Mosque Masjid Zahir, one of Kedah's most distinctive architectural landmarks, it is one of the oldest mosques in the country Topic. Longkawi Topic. The Longkawi International Airport is located at Padang Matsarat and it is also considered a tourist attraction as the Longkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition takes place every two years near the airport. The airport handled almost 1.2 million passengers and over 41,000 aircraft movements in 2008. It serves as the primary gateway into Longkawi. In 2007, Longkawi Island was given a World Geopark status by UNESCO. Places of interest: Mount Mat Singkang, Gunung Mat Singkang, Field of Burnt Rice, Hot Springs, Talaga Tuju, the Seven Wells, Beach of Black Sand, Tasik Dayang Bunting, Lake of the Pregnant Maiden, Gua Sarita, Cave of Stories, Gua Langsir, Curtain Cave. Sports In 2006, Kita hosted the 11th Sukma Games. The opening and closing ceremonies were held at the Darul Aman Stadium in Alor Sitar. Football is the most favorite sport in Kita as well as Sepak Raga. Kita FA is a professional football team in Malaysia that represent the state of Kita and under the supervision of Kita Football Association. Kita FA currently play in the Malaysia Super League, and they are the only team in the history of Malaysian football to ever achieve a double treble titles in 2006-07 and 2007-08 seasons. Bibliography <inaudible> 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 Scott, Weapons of the Weak, Everyday Forms of Peasant Resistance 1985. Topic. See also. Topic. Breakdown of state seats representatives elected in 2018. Kita FA. Kingdom of Kubing Pasu Darul Kiam. Kingdom of Settle Mombong Sagara. Proclamation of Malaysia. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. Kita Virtual Malaysia Malaysia Social Travel Channel. Tourism Malaysia Kita. 
Official Longkawi website